Yeah, so when I was uh, growing up, uh, my dad ran multiple industrial food plants uh, right across Canada. Uh, we had the largest cinnamon bun company, we had the largest uh, croissant company, we had the largest cheesecake company at one point. Um, and, and so I grew up in industrial food. I grew up watching uh, these cakes that we were producing run through kilometers of pipe before getting deposited and baked off. And then after uh, finishing high school, I went to university, became a mechanical engineer, and I uh, ended up meeting my wife, Michelle, and she had done most of her work up until that point in the oil and gas industry and was working in Calgary. And so I followed her there and ended up becoming an oil and gas engineer, uh, designing facilities and pipelines, bringing natural gas and oil to market, essentially. And one day I was uh, getting ready to cut down a massive swath of forest and uh, serendipity struck as it usually does. And I ended up getting an email from a friend that uh, had a small YouTube video. YouTube had just come out. It was pretty, pretty fresh still. And the, the video was called Greening the Desert. It was about three minutes long. And it showed this gentleman uh, working in the Dead Sea Valley, lowest place on earth, hyper saline soils, hyper desertified, uh, doing some very simple earthworks uh, on a, I don't know, 15 or 20 acre scale and completely regenerating this piece of land. And I said, oh my gosh, like I'm getting ready to cut this forest down and this guy's putting all of his life energy into making the world a better place. I'm at the very least maintaining status quo. And so I took out my calculator and I said, you know, if, I'm, if I live uh, 80 to 90 years, um, that's roughly 600,000 hours of life energy. What do I want to spend the next two thirds of my life at that point doing? Do I want to maintain status quo or do I actually want to push the needle somewhere and do something a little bit different?